Overthinking is a common challenge in our fast-paced modern lives. The ancient philosophy of Stoicism, as exemplified by Marcus Aurelius, offers valuable insights and practical strategies to help quiet the mind and find tranquility in the midst of chaos. Here are 10 Stoic ways to stop overthinking inspired by the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Number 1. Challenge Negative Thoughts Challenging Negative thoughts is a crucial aspect of overcoming overthinking and fostering a more positive mindset. The pervasive nature of self-doubt and negative assumptions can significantly impact our mental well-being, leading to unnecessary stress and anxiety. By actively engaging in the process of challenging and reframing these negative thoughts, individuals can create a mental space that is conducive to healthier thinking patterns. One fundamental step in this process involves a heightened awareness of one's thoughts. Actively pay attention to the internal dialogue and identify instances where negative thoughts arise. These thoughts may manifest as self-critical statements, predictions of failure, or a general sense of inadequacy. Once recognized, the next step is to question the validity of these thoughts. It's essential to ask yourself whether these negative thoughts are based on objective reality or if they are distorted perceptions influenced by emotions. Often, overthinking magnifies problems and distorts reality, making situations appear more dire than they truly are. By questioning the accuracy of these thoughts, individuals can begin to dismantle the foundation of overthinking. Moreover, the process of challenging negative thoughts involves seeking evidence to the contrary. Look for instances in your life where you have succeeded, received positive feedback, or overcome challenges. This evidence serves as a counterbalance to the negativity, offering a more balanced and accurate perspective on one's abilities and potential. Refocusing on more positive and constructive perspectives is the next critical step. Instead of dwelling on what could go wrong, redirect your thoughts toward what you can learn from challenges and how you can grow from them. Embrace a growth mindset that sees setbacks as opportunities for development rather than insurmountable obstacles. Positive affirmations can be powerful tools in this process. Affirmations are statements that reinforce positive beliefs about oneself. By repeating affirmations related to your capabilities and worth, you can gradually reshape your self-perception and diminish the influence of negative thoughts. In essence, Challenging negative thoughts is an ongoing practice that requires dedication and self-reflection. It involves cultivating a mindset that is resilient in the face of adversity, recognizing the inherent capacity for growth, and actively choosing constructive perspectives over self-defeating assumptions. As individuals develop this skill, they empower themselves to break free from the chains of overthinking and build a foundation for a more optimistic and fulfilling life. Number 2. Focus on what you can control. The Stoic principle of focusing on what you can control is a timeless philosophy that offers profound insights into managing one's thoughts and emotions. In a world filled with external uncertainties, the Stoic approach encourages individuals to shift their focus inward, redirecting their attention to elements within their sphere of influence. This intentional shift in perspective can serve as a powerful antidote to the often paralyzing effects of overthinking. At its core, this stoic concept invites individuals to distinguish between factors they can actively influence and those beyond their control. External circumstances, the actions of others, and unpredictable events fall into the latter category, representing variables that individuals cannot entirely govern. By acknowledging this distinction, Individuals can free themselves from the burden of constantly analyzing and overthinking elements that lie outside their power to change. Instead, the Stoic philosophy advocates for a redirection of attention towards the internal realm, thoughts, actions, and responses. By channeling energy into these areas, 
individuals regain a sense of agency and autonomy over their lives. This shift is not about avoiding external challenges, but about approaching them with a mindset focused on what can be done rather than what cannot. Within the realm of thoughts, the Stoic approach encourages mindfulness and self-awareness. By actively observing and understanding one's thoughts, individuals can identify patterns of overthinking and, in turn, develop strategies to manage them. This introspective practice aligns with modern mindfulness techniques, fostering a more present and intentional way of thinking. Actions, as another aspect within one's control, become a focal point for implementing change. Rather than succumbing to the paralysis of overthinking, individuals can take decisive steps toward their goals. This proactive approach not only contributes to personal growth, but also serves as a counterbalance to the spiraling thoughts associated with overanalyzing external circumstances. Equally vital is the management of responses. Stoicism teaches the importance of cultivating emotional resilience by choosing how to respond to situations. By consciously deciding how to react, individuals can prevent the escalation of overthinking that often accompanies emotional reactions. This practice aligns with contemporary cognitive behavioral strategies, emphasizing the role of thought patterns in shaping emotional responses. Furthermore, the Stoic principle of focusing on the controllable aligns with the concept of locus of control in psychology. Individuals with an internal locus of control tend to believe they have control over their lives, which is associated with greater psychological well-being. By embracing this Stoic perspective, individuals can enhance their internal locus of control, fostering a sense of empowerment and reducing the inclination to overthink external factors. In essence, the Stoic philosophy's emphasis on directing attention toward what can be controlled serves as a guiding principle for navigating the complexities of life. By integrating this mindset into daily living, individuals can liberate themselves from the shackles of overthinking, embracing a more purposeful and resilient approach to challenges. Before continuing the discussion to point three, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments about this topic, or provide some quotes to motivate other viewers. Number three. Connect with others. Connecting with others is a fundamental aspect of human experience, and it holds particular significance in the realm of overcoming overthinking. The act of sharing one's thoughts and concerns with trusted friends or family members serves as a potent means of gaining valuable insights, finding emotional support, and breaking the isolating grip of overthinking. One of the primary benefits of opening up to others is the opportunity to gain alternative perspectives. When entangled in the web of overthinking, individuals may find it challenging to see beyond their own thoughts and assumptions. Trusted friends and family members, however, bring fresh viewpoints to the table. Their diverse experiences and perspectives can shed light on aspects that may have been overlooked providing a more comprehensive understanding of the situation. Discussion acts as a catalyst for breaking down the complexities of overthinking into manageable components. Verbalizing thoughts forces individuals to articulate and organize their concerns. This process of externalization not only clarifies the nature of the issues at hand, but also facilitates a more objective analysis. It's through this dialogue that individuals often gain newfound clarity and a sense of direction. Moreover, sharing one's worries with others can be a cathartic experience. Verbalizing concerns can release pent-up tension and create a space for emotional expression. Bottling up thoughts and feelings, on the other hand, can contribute to the perpetuation of overthinking. The act of sharing transforms overthinking from an internal struggle into a shared experience, lessening its weight on an individual's shoulders. Human connection, whether through verbal communication, empathetic listening, or shared experiences, serves as a powerful antidote to mental overdrive. 
Knowing that one is not alone in facing challenges fosters a sense of camaraderie and support. This shared burden can alleviate feelings of isolation, creating a collaborative atmosphere where individuals can collectively navigate the complexities of their thoughts and emotions. In the context of mental health, social connection is recognized as a protective factor against various mental health challenges, including overthinking. Meaningful relationships contribute to a sense of belonging and purpose, reducing the likelihood of falling into the trap of overthinking as a solitary endeavor. The emotional support gained through connections can act as a stabilizing force, promoting mental well-being. Furthermore, engaging in conversations with others provides an opportunity for reciprocal support. Just as individuals seek guidance, they also contribute to the well-being of their friends or family members. This mutual exchange reinforces the interconnectedness of individuals and the shared human experience. It establishes a foundation of trust and reciprocity that strengthens over time, creating a supportive network for navigating life's complexities. In summary, connecting with others is not merely a social nicety but a potent strategy for combating overthinking. By sharing thoughts and concerns, Individuals tap into the collective wisdom of their social network, gaining alternative perspectives and a sense of shared experience. Number four, accept the impermanence of things. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, imparted timeless wisdom on the impermanence of life, a concept that can profoundly impact our approach to overthinking. Delving into this philosophy involves not merely acknowledging the fleeting nature of existence, but embracing it as a fundamental truth. The acceptance of impermanence can serve as a transformative tool, alleviating the burden of overthinking about future uncertainties and fostering a more peaceful mindset. At the core of this stoic principle lies an understanding that everything, from the grandest moments to the smallest details, is subject to change. By recognizing the impermanence of life, individuals can release the grip of overthinking about what lies ahead. The uncertainties and unpredictabilities of the future become not sources of anxiety, but integral components of the ever-changing tapestry of existence. Marcus Aurelius's reflections on impermanence invite individuals to view life through a broader lens. Instead of fixating on specific outcomes or events, the focus shifts to the journey itself. The impermanence of things underscores the importance of savoring each moment, appreciating the present without the encumbrance of excessive speculation about what may come. Accepting impermanence requires a mental shift from resistance to embrace. Often, overthinking arises from a desire for control and certainty. By acknowledging that change is inevitable and that some aspects of life are beyond our influence, individuals can liberate themselves from the perpetual cycle of overanalyzing and second-guessing. Moreover, this acceptance can lead to a more profound sense of gratitude for the experiences and relationships in the present moment. When one recognizes the transitory nature of life, each interaction, accomplishment, and joy becomes more precious. Gratitude becomes a guiding force, steering individuals away from the pitfalls of overthinking about what might be lost or gained in the future. The impermanence of things is not a call for indifference, but an invitation to engage with life more fully. It encourages individuals to invest their energy in the present, fostering a sense of mindfulness and presence. The past and future lose their grip on the mind as attention shifts to the richness of the current experience. In navigating the uncertainties of the future, individuals embracing impermanence can develop resilience. Rather than succumbing to the anxiety of overthinking, they cultivate an adaptable mindset. Challenges are no longer perceived as insurmountable obstacles but as opportunities for growth and learning further reinforcing the Stoic philosophy's emphasis on resilience in the face of change. 
In conclusion, Marcus Aurelius' teachings on the impermanence of things offer a profound guide for those grappling with overthinking about the future. By accepting and even embracing the transient nature of life, individuals can find liberation from the shackles of excessive speculation. This acceptance fosters a mindset that is more attuned to the present, grounded in gratitude, and resilient in the face of life's uncertainties. Number 5. View Obstacles as Opportunities Embracing obstacles as opportunities for growth a core tenet of Marcus Aurelius's Stoic philosophy, is a transformative mindset that can profoundly impact our approach to challenges and mitigate the tendency to overthink. Rather than viewing obstacles as insurmountable roadblocks, this Stoic perspective invites individuals to see them as chances for personal development, resilience, and the acquisition of wisdom. At its essence, this philosophy challenges the conventional view of obstacles as purely negative events. Marcus Aurelius believed that challenges, far from being impediments, are essential elements of a meaningful life. They serve as catalysts for self-improvement and opportunities to demonstrate resilience, adaptability, and courage. This mindset shift from adversity to opportunity lays the groundwork for preventing overthinking in the face of difficulties. When individuals encounter obstacles, the knee-jerk reaction may be to feel overwhelmed or discouraged. However, the Stoic approach encourages reframing these challenges as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. By perceiving obstacles as opportunities, the focus shifts from the perceived negativity of the situation to the potential positive outcomes and personal growth that can arise from overcoming it. Furthermore, this mindset cultivates a proactive approach to problem solving. Instead of succumbing to the paralyzing effects of overthinking, individuals who view obstacles as opportunities are more likely to take constructive action. They engage with challenges as tasks to be tackled, actively seeking solutions and learning experiences. This proactive stance disrupts the cycle of overthinking, replacing it with purposeful and goal-oriented thinking. Marcus Aurelius emphasized that challenges are not arbitrary disruptions but integral parts of the human experience. This acknowledgement encourages individuals to confront difficulties with a sense of purpose and resilience. By reframing obstacles as opportunities for growth, individuals can extract meaning and value from challenging situations, preventing overthinking by focusing on the positive potential inherent in adversity. Moreover, this philosophy aligns with the modern concept of a growth mindset. Individuals with a growth mindset perceive challenges as avenues for learning and improvement, they embrace the process of overcoming obstacles rather than fixating on the potential for failure. This perspective fosters a mindset that is conducive to continuous learning and development, mitigating the inclination to overthink by maintaining a constructive outlook. The Stoic perspective on viewing obstacles as opportunities also intersects with the idea of post-traumatic growth. Research in psychology suggests that individuals who face adversity and subsequently view it as a source of personal development often experience post-traumatic growth. This phenomenon highlights the transformative potential of challenges and supports, the notion that obstacles can indeed lead to positive psychological outcomes. In conclusion, Marcus Aurelius's belief in viewing obstacles as opportunities provides a powerful antidote to overthinking. By reframing challenges as chances for growth, individuals can adopt a positive and proactive mindset. This approach not only prevents excessive rumination, but also cultivates resilience, wisdom, and a sense of purpose in navigating life's inevitable difficulties. It encourages individuals to approach obstacles not with fear and anxiety, but with a mindset that sees opportunities for transformation and progress. Number 6. Detach Emotionally from Outcomes The Stoic principle of detaching emotionally from outcomes 
as advocated by philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, provides a profound framework for cultivating emotional resilience and preventing the pitfalls of overthinking. This philosophy encourages individuals to navigate external events with a sense of equanimity, focusing on their efforts rather than becoming consumed by the uncertain and often uncontrollable results. At its core, emotional detachment from outcomes involves a deliberate choice to free oneself from the emotional roller coaster that often accompanies anticipation of future scenarios. Stoicism teaches that while individuals can influence their actions and responses, the ultimate outcomes are often beyond their direct control. By recognizing this distinction, individuals can sidestep the cycle of overthinking triggered by excessive attachment to specific results. One key aspect of this Stoic perspective is the emphasis on understanding the dichotomy of control. Stoics categorize factors into things within one's control and things outside of it. While individuals can control their actions, decisions, and attitudes, external events, opinions of others, and unforeseen circumstances fall into the realm of what cannot be directly governed. Detaching emotionally involves focusing on the former and accepting the latter with equanimity. This philosophy encourages individuals to shift their mindset from fixation on the potential outcomes to a more process-oriented approach. Rather than dwelling on the myriad possibilities of what might happen, individuals are urged to channel their energy into the quality and dedication of their efforts. This proactive focus on the process allows for a more grounded and purposeful approach, diminishing the space for overthinking about future uncertainties. Detaching emotionally from outcome as also intersects with the concept of mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the current moment without being overly reactive or overwhelmed by what's happening around you. By adopting a mindful approach, Individuals can observe their thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. This non-attachment to passing thoughts contributes to emotional resilience and prevents overthinking about potential outcomes. Moreover, the Stoic principle of emotional detachment aligns with contemporary cognitive behavioral approaches. Cognitive behavioral therapy emphasizes changing negative thought patterns to influence emotions and behaviors. By detaching emotionally from outcomes, individuals can interrupt the sickly of negative thoughts that often lead to overthinking and cultivate a more balanced and constructive mindset. A critical component of emotional detachment is the practice of accepting the inherent uncertainty of life. Stoicism encourages individuals to embrace the impermanence and unpredictability of external events, this acceptance allows for a more flexible and adaptive mindset, reducing the cognitive burden associated with overthinking various potential outcomes. In the professional realm, emotional detachment from outcomes is linked to the concept of process over results. By prioritizing the quality of work, dedication, and continuous improvement, Individuals can insulate themselves from the emotional turmoil often associated with fixation on specific outcomes. This approach fosters a healthier work environment and mitigates the tendency to overthink about success or failure. In summary, the Stoic philosophy of detaching emotionally from outcomes offers a valuable strategy for preventing overthinking. By focusing on what is within one's control, adopting a process-oriented mindset, and accepting the inherent uncertainty of life, individuals can cultivate emotional resilience. This stoic perspective provides a timeless guide for navigating the complexities of external events with grace, ensuring that the pursuit of goals remains purposeful and free from the entanglements of excessive rumination. Number 7. Distinguish between what is and isn't in your power. The Stoic principle of distinguishing between what is and isn't in your power is a fundamental aspect of managing overthinking and achieving a balanced mindset. Rooted in the philosophy of Stoicism, 
This concept encourages individuals to discern the elements of life they can influence and those beyond their control. By embracing this dichotomy of control, individuals can redirect their focus towards actions within their power, subsequently alleviating the burden of overthinking about uncontrollable factors. At its core, the dichotomy of control reflects the stoic belief that certain aspects of life fall under our influence, while others do not. External events, the actions of others, and unforeseen circumstances are deemed beyond our immediate control. In contrast, our thoughts, attitudes, and behaviors lie within the realm of what we can govern. Recognizing this distinction is pivotal to breaking the cycle of overthinking. The process of distinguishing between what is and isn't in your power begins with self-awareness. Individuals must engage in a reflective examination of their thoughts and concerns, identifying those rooted in external factors that are beyond their control. This self-awareness is the first step towards dismantling the habitual patterns of overthinking, as it allows for a conscious redirection of focus. Once the areas within one's control are identified, the Stoic philosophy encourages individuals to concentrate their efforts on these actionable aspects. This intentional shift towards the controllable elements of a situation facilitates a sense of agency and purpose. It also serves as a deterrent to overthinking, as attention is redirected from speculative scenarios to concrete actions that can make a difference. In adopting the dichotomy of control, individuals often find solace in surrendering the fixation on things beyond their power. Stoicism encourages a mindset of acceptance towards external events, emphasizing that while one cannot always control what happens, they can control their response. This acceptance is a powerful tool in preventing overthinking as it reduces the emotional turmoil associated with grappling with the uncontrollable. Moreover, the dichotomy of control aligns with contemporary cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT principles. CBT often involves helping individuals identify and challenge irrational thoughts. By categorizing thoughts into those related to the controllable and uncontrollable, individuals can apply CBT techniques to manage and redirect their thinking patterns, preventing the escalation of overthinking. This stoic principle intersects with the concept of resilience. Resilience involves bouncing back from adversity and maintaining well-being in the face of challenges. By concentrating on what is within one's power, individuals build resilience. They develop a capacity to adapt to changing circumstances and cultivate a mindset that is less prone to the detrimental effects of overthinking. The dichotomy of control also extends to interpersonal relationships. Stoicism suggests that while we cannot control the actions or opinions of others, we can control our responses. Applying this philosophy fosters healthier interactions, reducing the tendency to overthink about external judgments or behaviors. Furthermore, embracing the dichotomy of control aligns with the idea of mindfulness. Mindfulness encourages individuals to be fully present in the moment, accepting it without judgment. By focusing on the controllable aspects of the present, individuals can prevent the intrusion of overthinking, allowing for a more mindful and intentional approach to life. In conclusion, the stoic principle of distinguishing between what is and isn't in your power provides a powerful strategy for mitigating overthinking. By recognizing the dichotomy of control, individuals can redirect their focus to actions within their power, fostering a sense of agency, purpose, and resilience. This stoic perspective offers a timeless guide for navigating life's complexities with a balanced and intentional mindset, free from the burdens of excessive rumination. Number 8. Cultivate Gratitude The stoic practice of cultivating gratitude, as emphasized by Marcus Aurelius, serves as a powerful antidote to overthinking by fostering a positive and appreciative mindset. 
Gratitude involves acknowledging and expressing thanks for the positive aspects of one's life, redirecting focus from over-analyzing problems to appreciating the simple joys and lessons that abound. At its core, cultivating gratitude requires a deliberate shift in perspective towards the positive aspects of life. Marcus Aurelius, in his philosophical reflections, often encouraged individuals to take stock of the blessings, no matter how small, that surround them. This intentional focus on the positive contributes to a mental landscape that is less prone to the pitfalls of overthinking. Expressing gratitude involves acknowledging not only the external circumstances, but also the internal qualities and strengths that contribute to one's well-being. By regularly recognizing and appreciating these aspects, individuals can cultivate a sense of contentment and fulfillment, diminishing the propensity to overthink about perceived shortcomings or challenges. Moreover, the practice of gratitude intersects with the concept of mindfulness. Mindfulness encourages individuals to be fully present in the moment, appreciating the richness of their experiences without being overshadowed by overthinking. Cultivating gratitude aligns with this principle, as it prompts individuals to notice and savor the positive aspects of their lives, fostering a greater sense of presence and awareness. Regular expressions of gratitude have been linked to various psychological benefits. Studies have shown that practicing gratitude can enhance overall well-being, reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety, and contribute to greater life satisfaction. In the context of preventing overthinking, these positive psychological outcomes can create a buffer against the intrusive nature of negative thoughts. Furthermore, Marcus Aurelius's teachings on gratitude are in line with positive psychology, a field that focuses on promoting strengths and virtues to enhance well-being. Gratitude as a positive emotion contributes to the flourishing of individuals by fostering a positive mindset and reducing the impact of negative thought patterns associated with overthinking. In the face of challenges, gratitude offers a perspective that goes beyond immediate difficulties. Instead of getting entangled in the complexities of overthinking about problems, individuals who cultivate gratitude develop resilience. They acknowledge that amidst challenges, there are still elements in their lives for which they can be grateful, creating a more balanced and optimistic outlook. Expressing gratitude is not solely an individual practice. It can also extend to interpersonal relationships. Marcus Aurelius's reflections on gratitude emphasize the importance of acknowledging the positive contributions of others to one's life. This interpersonal dimension of gratitude can enhance relationships, creating a supportive network that counters the isolating effects of overthinking. In conclusion, Cultivating gratitude, as advocated by Marcus Aurelius, is a potent strategy for preventing overthinking. By deliberately acknowledging and expressing thanks for the positive aspects of life, individuals can shift their focus away from obsessive problem analysis to a mindset that appreciates the simple joys and lessons. This stoic practice aligns with contemporary positive psychology principles and offers a timeless guide for fostering a positive and resilient approach to life's challenges. Number 9. Embrace Change as Natural Embracing change as a natural and inherent aspect of life, a central tenet of Stoicism, offers a transformative mindset that can significantly impact our ability to adapt and prevent overthinking. Instead of resisting the inevitable ebb and flow of life, Stoicism encourages individuals to accept change as a fundamental reality, fostering a mindset that is more resilient, adaptable, and less prone to overanalyzing potential outcomes. The Stoic perspective on change is deeply rooted in the understanding that everything is in a constant state of flux. Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers recognize that the world is dynamic and circumstances are subject to transformation. By internalizing this concept, 
individuals can alleviate the mental burden associated with overthinking potential outcomes as they come to expect and accept change as an intrinsic part of their journey. The resistance to change often stems from the fear of the unknown or the discomfort associated with leaving one's comfort zone. Stoicism challenges this resistance by advocating for an attitude of acceptance. By acknowledging change as a natural progression, individuals can release the grip of overthinking that often accompanies uncertainty, creating space for a more open and adaptable mindset. Moreover, embracing change aligns with the Stoic principle of focusing on what is within one's control. While external circumstances may evolve, individuals can control their responses and attitudes towards change. This shift in focus from external factors to internal reactions provides a practical strategy for preventing overthinking, as attention is directed towards constructive responses rather than excessive rumination. Stoicism teaches that by embracing change, individuals align themselves with the order of the cosmos. This cosmic perspective encourages a sense of harmony with the unfolding events of life. Rather than being overwhelmed by overthinking about potential outcomes, individuals who embrace change recognize their place within the broader context of the universe, fostering a more grounded and interconnected mindset. The acceptance of change also intersects with the concept of mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being present in the moment without judgment. Embracing change requires individuals to cultivate a mindful awareness of the present, acknowledging the evolving nature of their experiences. This mindfulness serves as a powerful tool in preventing overthinking by grounding individuals in the current reality rather than speculative future scenarios. In the professional realm, the ability to embrace change is recognized as a valuable skill. In today's dynamic work environments, adaptability is a key factor in success. Individuals who resist change often find themselves trapped in the cycle of overthinking about the potential challenges or disruptions. On the other hand, those who embrace change approach uncertainties with a mindset that is more conducive to innovation and growth. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches that the pursuit of tranquility is closely linked to the acceptance of change. By letting go of the desire for things to remain static, individuals free themselves from the shackles of overthinking about maintaining a certain status quo. This liberation allows for a more peaceful and harmonious existence, unburdened by excessive rumination. In summary, the Stoic philosophy of embracing change as natural provides a powerful strategy for preventing overthinking. By recognizing change as an integral part of life, individuals can foster resilience, adaptability, and a more mindful approach to their experiences. Number 10. Set Realistic Expectations Setting realistic expectations is a fundamental aspect of managing overthinking and fostering a mindset that is balanced and less prone to stress. The concept of managing expectations aligns with Stoic philosophy and practical wisdom, urging individuals to assess and adjust their anticipations to align with what is achievable in the context of their abilities, circumstances, and goals. Overthinking often arises when individuals set expectations that are excessively high or unrealistic. The pressure to meet these unattainable standards can lead to a constant cycle of analysis, self-doubt, and worry. By embracing the principle of setting realistic expectations, individuals can break free from this cycle and cultivate a more realistic and balanced mindset. One key aspect of managing expectations is self-awareness. Individuals need to assess their own capabilities, resources, and limitations realistically. This self-awareness serves as the foundation for establishing expectations that are attainable and reflective of their current circumstances. 
Acknowledging one's strengths and limitations is an essential step in preventing overthinking that may arise from the dissonance between unrealistic expectations and reality. Moreover, managing expectations involves a conscious evaluation of external factors. Consider the external circumstances, timelines, and variables that may influence the achievement of a particular goal. Adjust expectations based on the context, recognizing that certain factors may be beyond immediate control. This contextual awareness helps in creating expectations that are adaptable to the complexities of real-life situations, reducing the likelihood of overthinking. The Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of distinguishing between what is within one's control and what is not. When setting expectations, individuals should focus on elements that they can actively influence. By directing attention towards achievable goals and actions within their control, individuals create a more manageable and less stressful framework, mitigating the triggers for overthinking. Moreover, adjusting expectations aligns with the modern concept of self-compassion. Setting excessively high expectations without considering the inevitable challenges and setbacks can lead to self-criticism and harsh judgments. By cultivating self-compassion and acknowledging that everyone faces obstacles, individuals can create a more nurturing and supportive inner dialogue, reducing the propensity for overthinking. In relationships, Managing expectations is crucial for fostering healthy interactions. Unrealistic expectations in relationships can lead to disappointment, frustration, and unnecessary overthinking. By openly communicating and aligning expectations with both parties' needs and boundaries, individuals can cultivate more harmonious and fulfilling connections, reducing potential triggers for overanalyzing. The practice of setting realistic expectations also intersects with the concept of goal setting. While ambitious goals can be motivating, they need to be tempered with a sense of realism. Break larger goals into smaller, achievable milestones. This approach not only contributes to a sense of progress, but also minimizes the overwhelming pressure that often leads to overthinking about the enormity of a task. Furthermore, managing expectations involves a commitment to ongoing reflection and adjustment. Life is dynamic, and circumstances change. Regularly reassess expectations in light of new information, experiences, or personal growth. This adaptive approach contributes to a mindset that is flexible and responsive, reducing the potential for overthinking about outdated or unrealistic expectations. In conclusion, the practice of setting realistic expectations is a crucial strategy for preventing overthinking and cultivating a balanced mindset. By embracing self-awareness, considering external factors, focusing on what is within one's control, and fostering self-compassion, individuals can create expectations that are both motivating and attainable. This stoic-informed approach aligns with contemporary concepts such as mindfulness, adaptability, and self-compassion, offering a practical guide for navigating life with a more realistic and less burdensome mindset.